silent. Hey, Facebook people. Brett, today we're going to be doing a bit of condition for your stomach and your chest. And then we're going to go into our cartwheels. So as soon as you guys are ready, I'm on the Facebook. Then head over to my YouTube channel because the quality on the YouTube channel is a lot clearer and it's a bigger, bigger, so I can see my whole arms in the YouTube video. Okay, so head over to there. Again, two minutes and then we'll get started. This is it. Connection is unstable. It's reconnecting. Oh, for God's sake. There we go. Oh, 10 people are on YouTube. No, no. Well, 11 viewers. Hey, everyone, you got one. One, one minute, 20 seconds, and then we'll get started. I'm ready for today. Yeah. One minute, one minute until your gymnastics class is started. Okay, ready, hand it off of your toes. So we are. I've lost it. Okay, now jogging on the spot. I'm jogging on the spot again. Oh, well, I just have to go climb, right? <laughs> and again, back up to stretch jumps. Arms up nice and tall. And jogging again. Jogging, jogging, jogging. Who should get the time trials? It's beautiful out here. <laughs> mm, right, when I clap my hands. I want you to touch your chest on the floor as fast as you can. So we're going to jog. Pick up the pace a little bit. Get a little bit faster. Faster, faster, faster. Down. Round back up. And then into your stretch jumps. Lovely. I can stop saying lovely. Lovely. And I'm jogging on the spot again. Let's have those knees up nice and high. Try and touch your, touch your hands. Keep going, keep going. Okay, and then kicking your bums. So you want your feet to hit your hands at the back. Good, okay, and then shake it out. Shake, 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 shake your wrists, shake your legs. Okay, we're gonna go through all five of my jumps. So, five, five stretch jumps first, so arms are nice and tall. You're gonna swing down. One, two, three, four, Five. Okay, and then always your landing position. Hold on, how long do we hold our landing position for? Three seconds. So one, two, three. Now tuck five, tuck jump. So up, tuck one, two, three, four, five. Landing position. Good, okay. I'm just gonna do the two because the other ones yeah. might smash some things in some houses. Thank me later, parents. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna go big circles with our arms. Gets you a nice little out of breath. Gets your body going. Big circles with your arms still. Okay, and then circle your arms backwards. We want big circles with our arms. Okay. Okay, now we're going to put one arm up in the air nice and tall. I want you to put it behind your head. And I want you to get your other arm. You grab your elbow. And then you're going to pull down and lean to the left. And then you're going to swap your arms again, so behind your head, grab your elbow, and you're going to lean to the other side. Good, okay. And then hands on your hips, and you're going to circle your hips around. Good, good, good. And then arms side to side. Swing those arms, relax your arms, let them swing. Let your back relax and stretch. And then we're going to go side to side. So lean it right over the top. Look at that in sync. So you get hit. Good. Okay, now we're going to put our legs a bit further apart. We've done this one. We always do this one. Five. One, two, three, four. Five positions. Arms up nice and tall. One, two, three, four, five. Arms up. In the middle. In front. Between your legs, through your legs. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, 
Five. One. This time, hold on two. Stop. Off to the side. And then we're going to go side to side. Keep those legs nice and straight. Just try and use your arms. Side to side. Uh, and then position one again. Then we're going to go two, three. And now what we're going to do is go three, four, five. Three, four, five. I'll show you from the side. From there, three, four, five. Three, four, five. Three, four, five. Yeah, give your legs a nice shake. We've got comments. Who we got? Who we got, Hannah? Okay, Lexi from Birmingham together. is ready. Arms up nice and tall. Isla and Finley Five are ready. Times. One, two, three, four, five, and stop. Good. Now we're going to hold. So as we go down, I want you to reach towards the ground as far as you can, but keep your legs nice and straight. Okay, Hannah will face your different from the side. So from here, forward. <laughs> And try and hold as far as you can. Even if you can go to here, just go to here. But feel it all stretched down the back of your legs. Keep those legs straight. You're not stretching it for bent legs. Nice and straight. Reaching as far forward as you can. Hold it. Hold it. Alex is watching. Alex. So. Hello, Alex. So, thank you. He always gets a shout out. Okay. Legs straddle for me, sitting down on the floor. We're going to put our hands on the floor in the middle of our legs today. And we're going to put our fingers on the floor. And I want you to walk your fingers as far forwards as you can. Try and keep your legs straight. Imagine your hands are spiders and you're walking forwards. Forwards. And you're grabbing there. Go as far as you can. If you can grab onto something, give it a pull. Yeah, and keep stretching. Keep stretching. And relax. Shake your legs. Arms up to the side. Now we're going to do a bit of movement in straddle. So we're going to go one way. To our right, cross over to our left. To our right, so cross those hands over. Left and right. You want to be coming over the top of your ear. Over. 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 Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And then we're going to go to our right leg with both hands. And I want you to hold. Grab your foot if you can. If you can only grab your knee, just grab your knee. But don't bend your leg. You don't want to be like this. We're trying to stretch this muscle just here, okay? So reaching forwards, if you can, nose to your knee. Ah, man. It hurts, it should hurt. You're stretching those muscles to make them more flexible. Okay, and then over to our left leg. Same again. Try and grab. Even if you can only go to your knee, just grab your knee, okay? Don't bend your leg. Try and keep your, your back of your knee nice and flat on the floor. Reaching forward. Okay, and then we're going to bounce forwards. Two, try and keep those legs straight. You don't need to go really far. Just slide your hands across the floor or the carpet or if you're on a gymnastics mat, just slide forwards. Good, and now we're gonna put our feet together. Give our legs a good shake. Hit them on the ground. Give them a good shake. You feeling warmed up, Hannah? Yeah. Are you still cold? <laughs> okay, yeah. arms up. Now we're gonna go five times to our toes. One, two, and on our fifth, we're gonna grab our feet and hold. Keep those legs straight again. If you can't grab your feet, grab your ankles. If you can't grab your ankles, grab your knees, but then be pulling forwards. So we're giving our legs a nice stretch. Yeah. Okay, what we're gonna try now is a shoulder stand, okay? So small space. Just be careful of falling left to right if you're gonna hit anything. Okay, but what we're going to do, we're going to roll backwards and we're going to try and point our feet up all the way into the sky or into the ceiling. So from this position, rolling back, we're going to put our hands on our hips and we're going to lift. I want you to try and get your hips up as high as you can. Okay? Keep trying. Keep trying. So some of you, if you're stuck in this position like that, you need to push your hips up, engage your core. Grab you on your hips at the back. Push up the toe. Good. Okay, come into a tuck. We're going to roll forwards and backwards. If you joined me before, you probably know what's coming next. 
When do we ever rock in a ball like this? Just before we do what stretch, Hannah? Bridge. And bridge. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if my bridge is better today. Are you ready? Yeah. You guys ready? So took the t-shirts in. Montage. Okay. We're gonna put our feet in near our bum. Hands out in front. Kind of want you to fold your arms behind your head. We're gonna lift and hold for 30 seconds. So from here, three, two, one, lift up, 30 seconds. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And lower yourself down gently into a tuck shape and rock forward and backwards. Did you do it for all of it? Yeah, did you? Yeah? Did you? Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> I'm determined to get my back and talk over. I'll keep rocking into this, this nice tuck shape. Okay, and then I'll come to your knees for me. Shake those, shake your wrists up. If you like me, my back hurts now because I've done bridge. That's what I do for you guys, so you guys can see it. If I can do it, you parents can as well. Okay, put your wrists together, just give your wrists a nice stretch. Because mine are hurting, so I just want to loosen them up before we carry on. Okay, what we need to do now, we're just going to stretch out our splits. So put your right leg forward. Put your hands onto your legs, and you're going to lean forward, as far forward as you can. Just going to do a quick one today of our splits. And then I want you to lunge forward, stretch that back leg. Okay, lean back again, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards. And I want you to slide your foot forwards as far down to splits as you can get. Ooh. You can't arms out to your side. I'm nearly there, I'm nearly flat. Okay. Remember, guys, if you can't get this flat in splits, that doesn't matter. As long as you can get to here and you're stretching your back leg, then you're going to get better and better and better. I've been doing it for, I'd say, for about five years trying to get my splits better. I'm not flat yet. Okay, okay let's swap next. Same again with that one. So now our left leg's forwards. We're going to stretch forwards, stretching the back of our legs here. Try and keep your so imagine your hips are headlines and they're face, facing the same way that you are and you're staying forward. We don't want to twist in our hips. We don't want to be bending our front leg. We want it straight and bend from our hips here. And then we're going to lunge forwards. We're going to push our back leg nice and straight. Lift that back leg up if you can. And then we're going to go backwards, forwards. Back. Just remember those headlights, your hips are headlights. Keep your lights facing forward. Forward, backwards, forward, backwards. And then slide your foot as far forwards as you can into that split. Try to stretch it. How's that to the side if you can? <laughs> okay, standing up for me, people. Stretching off those wrists, stretching off your legs. Okay, I said on a Facebook post that I posted about two hours ago that I'm going to do a challenge for you guys, okay? So I'm going to show you what the challenge is. We're going to have whoever can hold a frog balance for the longest and we're going to have whoever can do the most creative frog balance. So anywhere in your house, if you get a bit creative with it, I want you to send me your pictures and the videos of you doing it. Me and Hannah, we're going to pick out the best from today, okay? And then you're going to win some parallettes from myself. You can check out what they are if you go over onto my website. I redid it a little bit last night as well. So check it out. Right, a front balance. Let's see who can hold it longer, me or Hannah. What I want you to do is squat down. You're going to put your legs, your legs on the outside of your hands. Like this. So put your hands in the middle of your legs. What I want you to do is bend your arms slightly so your shoulders are coming forward. You're going to rest your knees and your thighs, so these bits here 
on the back of your elbows. And I want you to try to lean forwards, lift your feet up off the floor, and hold. So just your hands are on the floor. See if you can bring your toes together. Okay. <laughs> That's my challenge for you guys. So after this stream, you don't have to do it now. After this stream, I want you to take a video or a photo of you doing that for as long as you can. A chance to win some parallax from me. One more. One more challenge. If everybody can join in with this one. Three, two, one. Lean forwards. Legs onto your elbows. And lift your toes up off the floor. And balance. And balance. Yes! Okay, good now. Let's move on. Let's move on. So we're going to focus today on cartwheels. Okay? You guys that don't have much space, again, this is a bit more of a skill where your legs are going to be going left and right and everywhere okay so just be careful of your surroundings behind you okay i'm going to talk you through a few progressions for the cartwheel and then we're going to try our full cartwheel okay so every time you start a cartwheel foot forwards So every time you start a cartwheel, I want you to put one foot forward. Okay, we're always looking for a step like this. Okay, we don't want this. If we're like this and we're reaching down, I'm, not, I'm stretching all the back of my leg. I can't lift my leg up high. So you want to step that leg back. So you're in a nice big split. Okay. The first thing that I want you to do is with your hands out in front. I want you to turn your hands. So a handstand, you would keep your hands facing forwards. With a cartwheel, your hands will need to be here. And as you go into your cartwheel, you're going to have to turn those hands. Okay, you see that? So from my hands here, turn the same way as my legs. So I've got my right leg forwards. My hands are going to turn to the right. Okay? All I want you to try first is put that big, nice lunge here. Arms up nice and tall. You're going to lean forwards. And all I want you to try and do is do like a tucked bully jump. Okay, so from here, put your hands on the floor, and I want you to turn those hands, and then this leg is going to jump you across, and I want you to just land on the floor. Try it. So you're just jumping across. Good, and again, let's see that again. Yes, good, good, good. Okay, so keep trying that. If you could already do a cartwheel, to the side, okay? Once you can do that, people that can't do a cartwheel, I want you to land on your back leg. So from here, you're going to jump to the side, land on your back leg, and step across. You guys keep practicing that if you can't quite do a cartwheel yet. You guys that can, I want you to try and do a cartwheel. Stop in a handstand with your legs in split. Should we see if Hannah can do it first? <laughs> so we're going cartwheel, and we're trying to stop. Yeah, that was good. So we're here. Reaching forwards, always remember that big step. From here, kick up, handstand, and come back down. Okay, and as well as better. Just be careful of the, your surroundings. There, boom. Okay, you can try and stop. From there, up, stop. That was better. And then come the other way. Okay, keep trying. For you guys that can't do the cartwheel, you're still going here. Reach forwards, turn those hands. Jump to the side. Okay, try and do two in a row. Try and do three in a row if you've got the space. Yeah. So again. So people that can do a cartwheel, we're going sideways and we're stopping. Okay? Very good. Very, very good. <laughs> okay, if you can do the full cartwheel, let's move forwards to the full cartwheel. So even you guys that are practicing, that can't quite do a cartwheel yet, and you're just practicing that turn, this is the next step for you as well, okay? So instead of being all tucked up and just kicking your legs up, kicking, <laughs> kicking, <laughs> I want you to go to an arabesque position before you put your leg up, okay? Let's do that five times. So from here, reach forward, straight leg, grab. Arms up, three, four, and again. Four, so reach forward, nice straight leg. Good, last one. This one, hold for 10 seconds. Count 10. Nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> okay. And then, now we've done that, you've got your first bit of your cartwheel, you've got your second step of your cartwheel. That, that what the guys were doing that can already do a handstand, that's your first aim, okay? Is to be able to go from this position, arms up, go forwards. If you don't have to quite go up to the handstand, okay? So you can just go from here, reach forwards, arabesque, turn, and just a little jump. Okay, just try and build your confidence with just that little jump. So jump up and come back down. Arms up, big step, reach. Just a little jump. Okay, but remember to turn those hands. Just a little jump. So <laughs> again. So just a little jump. Keep practicing, keep practicing. You guys that are more advanced, try and stay in the handstand for as long as you can. You can bring your feet together, you can straddle your legs. So let's watch, see what Hannah decides to do. It's your choice, it's your class. No! Right, bend your legs. Get, get a bit creative with it. So if you can do it, cartwheel, start, tuck feet, come back down. Okay, it's a bit of fun. Just be careful where you are. That's it. So we're there, just a little jump, if you can't quite get to that handstand. Okay. So go, go, Hannah. Reach forward. Yeah, oh, she went, took and straddle. From there, reach, turn, jump, come back down. Reach forward, turn, come back down. Yeah, right. After that, so you guys, they're still working with that one. You're gonna have to keep practicing, practicing, practicing. Okay, but you can use this as guidance so you can get better, okay? The next step after that one, I want you to try and keep your legs straight and jump to the other side of your, of your hands. So that hand is gonna demonstrate one. Yeah, like, to the side a little bit. Just good. So, if you can go like this, if you've been practicing this, where you're reaching, turning, coming to handstand, or you can already do that, then I want you to try and keep your legs straight like a windmill and go to the other side of your legs. So, from here, reach and legs straight like a windmill to the other side. Just be careful if you're in a living room and your mum's ornaments are around. Be careful. Okay, so we're going from there. Reaching forward, turning our hands. Windmill legs to the other side. <laughs> okay, try again. So from here, that's your first one. It's kicking up and kicking back down. Okay, then we've got our windmill. So we're reaching forward. We're trying to jump to the other side of our legs. And then we got the full cartwheel, okay? So if you can do that first step, you can do that second step, then start working into getting to the handstand, and then start trying to work going all the way over, okay? So a big step here, reaching forwards, have our legs up nice and tall, lean over, and feet down. Okay, we wanna land on our back legs. So if Hannah's standing there in a big lunge, her arms up are nice and tall, when she comes forwards this way, She's going to do her arabesque and on this leg first. So she's going to reach over, a big kick, land on that back, back leg there. Okay? So you little ones, to all the little children watching, if you're struggling with it a bit, cartwheels are hard to do. This is what I recommend for you guys to think. So watch me for a second. I want you to, if you've never done a cartwheel before, and you just need to to understand the dynamics of a cartwheel, I want you to start facing sideways. I want you to picture this hand, number one. This hand is number two. This foot is number three. And this foot is number four. Okay, so for you just to picture a cartwheel, one, two, three, four. And from here, all you're going to do is go from that position, one on the floor, two on the floor, three on the floor, four on the floor. Okay, keep practicing. I'm going to. Have a look in the comments. Keep having a go, keep practicing. Lexi from Birmingham's ready to go. Isla and Finley now ready to go. Danielle Riley, if you're watching, I forgot to shout you out, yeah? Last time. Hey, Danielle. <laughs> now we're kicking over, okay? Can you do the other ones as well? So the step, first one, try and stop. 
come back down and again reaching forwards and stop come back down and then last one that we're going to try is going kicking all the way over so we're going there all the way over and back down okay and then think of that demonstration that i said as well where it's one hand second hand third hand that third foot fourth foot so one two three four one two three four Okay. If you're starting off, it doesn't matter if your legs are bent, okay, but you can practice. The more you practice it, the straighter your legs are going to get. Okay? They make it creative. So, with your hands together, <laughs> or hitting your legs in the air. Well, that's the idea, guys. Keep thinking about how you're going to get creative with your cartwheel. You've always you've got the standard cartwheel. It's here, all the way over. Okay, just a bit. It's just boring. It's just a cartwheel. Okay, try and make it a bit different. Like Hannah said, move your hands together if you can. Progress it on to doing a one-handed cartwheel. If you can progress it on, do a no-handed cartwheel. But eventually, we'll get into all that stuff as we go on through these gymnastics classes. Okay, what we're going to move on to now, so you guys have got all that knowledge from me about your cartwheels that you can practice after the and Hannah are going to do now, we're just going to do some exercises for our stomach. Okay, for oh, gymnastics, me? we need a strong core stomach. Okay, so I'm going to show you a few exercises. You guys can join along, you can carry on practicing your cartwheels, or you can get a little bit stronger doing gymnastics. Okay, so we're going to lie on the floor. Lie nice and straight, stretch it. Just, just relax for a minute, it's gonna be hard work. We're gonna do just the skin part then. So, first one, tuck shape. We're gonna go from a tuck shape here. I want you to lift your feet up off the floor. I want you to put your arms out to the side, and I want you to straighten your legs up. And we're gonna hold for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and relax, 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 okay, next one, we need to put your hands on the floor by your side, we're going to lift just our feet this time, so we're going to lift up, nice, into like a pike shape, one, all the way back up. Two, try and keep those legs as straight as you can. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, and relax. This should hurt your stomach. Is your stomach getting stronger? Your stomach getting stronger. If you need to stretch it out, swing over onto your stomach and lift up nice and tall. Stretch your stomach. Oh, sway side to side. Okay, next one. We're going to go 10 times. I want you all into what's called a front support position or a press up position. So we're going to go to this position like this. I want you to go from here down onto your elbows, back up, and then you're going to touch each shoulder and then go through the whole process again. If you want to make it a bit easier for yourself, onto your knees, okay, like hands there. Okay, we're gonna do it 10 times. This is for your chest, and it's also working your core muscles at the same time. So, from this position, from here, we're gonna go. One, two, back up. Elk, shoulder, shoulder. One, two, up. Shoulder, shoulder, one, two, up, shoulder, shoulder, one, two, up, shoulder, shoulder. If it's starting to hurt, drop down to your knees and cross your legs over, and then you can go from there again. Drop down, back up, shoulder, shoulder. That's five, five more. So from here, one, try and do it as fast as you can. One, two, three. One, two, <laughs> last one, one more, 
Relax, relax. Stomach hurting? Yeah. Shoulders hurting? Yeah. Chest hurting? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Arms and stomach. Yeah. Right, just stretch your wrists out. Relax. Stretch your arms out. Yeah. Yeah. Just stretch your wrists out. Relax. Cool. Okay, guys, we're going to leave it there. Thank you very, very much for tuning in. If you want to completely re-watch all of this without all the mumbo-jumbo at the start, then you can just head straight over to the YouTube channel in about 20 minutes. You can re-watch it all. You can join back into it. You can go back. You can listen to my tips on your cartwheels. You guys can practice for as long as your parents will let you or as long as you want to. Okay? There's quite a lot of people in here that aren't kids now, which I think is good. Oh, oh. Which I think is good. Parents, you can get involved in that. Okay, even if it's just getting involved in the last bit. We're sitting around a lot. We've got to keep nice and healthy. Thank you for watching this YouTube live stream. Next one. What's next one? What day we're is doing it? it? So we're Wednesday? <laughs> Wednesday. Next one's on next Friday. One is Wednesday. Next one is Friday. We're going to do one every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from now on. So you guys can pencil that in your diaries. Two o'clock. Two o'clock. Two o'clock every single Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Okay, and I got a new YouTube video, so go and check that out. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next.